42? Alright. For the support, we are just using a Light Demand Cleric. Light Cleric is just so good. Just two ASIs, um, maxing out Wisdom to 20, and then on last one, I'd probably suggest Defeat. You choose either Alert or Spell Sniper, probably. I think for this build, I chose Spell Sniper. Yeah. Just so I can get Eldritch Blast and have a dependable cannon trip in case I don't want to use a spell slot, you know? The Sacred Flame is not really dependable. For spells, though, what I probably recommend is you know, Guiding Bolt, Healing Word, Inflict Wounds if you're in melee range. Create Water's pretty nice. And use it to buff the party's lightning damage. Sanctuary's good. You can just protect an ally with, with a bonus action. And it's not a concentration. Aid is a must-have. It's like straight up plus 20 HP until long rest. No reason not to take it. It's a pre-ritual weapon. It's a bonus action thing. You just more damage. Plus restoration. Enhance ability for sure. You get an advantage on ability checks. So on your face, your face character, whatever. You just give them advantage in uh, persuasion or whatever. Or charisma. Ability checks, I mean. Seek with the dead, because it's a ritual spell, and... Yeah, instead of using scrolls, you can just sell the scrolls, make some money. And you get to speak with the dead for free anyways, so... Pure Guardians is really strong. Help cast that shit. You just run into a bunch of people to just fucking eat it. Remove curse. Just to remove curses, of course. Uh, Massing the word in the case. It just, you don't really even need this, to be honest. You just use healing incense. But it's there as another option. Vivify, yeah, instead of using a, a scroll, make, save some money. I don't really like any of the f level 4 spells. Banishment is good, but it's concentration. Contagion, which is insane. Like, some of these are just crazy. Vulnerability to all damage. And flesh rot's ridiculous. Slimy Doom. Whenever they are hit, they get stunned. Yeah, if you land this, uh, then greater restoration, if you ever need to use that. And then the level 6 spell, I tend to just run Hero's Feast. Gives everyone a little bit more HP, wisdom save advantage, and you can't be poisoned, diseased, or frightened, which is really nice. Oh yeah, and as, I guess uh, I should probably talk about the, the spells that come with the class, I guess. <laughs> Like you get Scorching Ray, you get Fireball, Wall of Fire, Flame Strike, and Destructive Weight. Oh yeah, for uh, cantrips. Oh, and I forgot to talk about the class action. Class action is just every short rest, you get three like like AOE Radiant Damage <laughs> attacks. And it's free. It doesn't take any small slots. And for cantrips... Uh, cantrips. All these are kind of... I think... I, yeah, I just chose the ones that don't require any concentration. Besides Guidance. So you get a... Buff ability checks. You talk about a uh, Warding Flare. This thing's... Really nice too. Impose disadvantage on an attack or possibly causing their attack to miss. Has an effect on creatures that can be blinded. And imposing disadvantage on an attacker is really nice. Like, uh, for say that they crit your ally, uh, now they didn't crit him. And this is unlimited. It doesn't, it doesn't take anything. I think in D&D, &D, it's based on your, your wisdom modifier. But in Baller's Gate, it's, it's just straight up unlimited. So, <laughs> yeah, Land of Main's just crazy. For gear, it's, so uh, what do we got here? We got Gibbous of the Worshipful Servant. We're just using this for the advantage on con save throws, so we don't have to get Warcaster. Cloak of protection for some AC, and the armor doesn't really matter. This is just... I like the look of it. Looks cool. Uh, for gloves, the Aegis Palms. Whenever you heal a creature, it gains the effects of Blade Ward. 
The second part's additional. It's not really a big deal. Vivify is nice, I guess. But alternatively to this, you can also just use Outrider's Pride, which is the same thing except without the Vivify. And then Disintegrating Network is for some messy stuff. Amulet is uh, Amulet Fount, plus two bonus to spell save DC. And for whatever reasons, God's will part of it. Additional use of your talent divinity d d does not work for me, at least. Yeah, you know, whenever you heal someone, they get blessed for two turns. So instead of having to concentrate on a blessed spell, you just plop this on someone. Mass healing word heal the entire group. Everyone's blessed for two turns. And uh, ring of regeneration for one to four HP per turn. And that just procs bless and blade ward on Shadowheart every single turn. For weapon, we are using the devotee's mace, which is just off of Child of Enmity, uh, Armly Servant, just for the healing in Centora, which uh, per turn your allies regen 1 to 4 HP. So for 10 turns, your entire group is blade warded. Actually, more than 10 turns, actually. Uh, I think it's like 12 to be exact. For 12 turns, they're blessed and have their blade warded, which is kind of ridiculous. But other than that, this build is pretty simple. You can change the shield out to whatever you want, but. We got Shield of Shielding, which uh, increases AC by what, plus 5 when uh, you want it. You see on Shadow Hour, it's already like 21 though, so it's kind of like whatever. You can also like add like a, a plus 3 shield instead if you want 22 AC. Alright, for the for our front line, or one of our front line at least, we are using a multi-class Paladin Barb Fighter. Six levels of Paladin for Oath of Vengeance, because I like aura protection as well as smiting on crits and then four levels into barbarian and for barbarian subclass we use wild hearts and the reason why we use wild heart is because you can enrage with heavy armor and we choose uh was it the bear wild heart you have resistance to all damage except psychic damage for 10 turns which is 23 ac and then resistance to almost all damage Pretty nice. We only take one ASI? Yeah, one ASI for 18 strength and then feed a uh, just Grey Weapon Master plus 10 damage. And then we offset Grey Weapon Master minus 5 with Reckless Attack. And we can use Reckless Attack to help proc crits. For gear, uh, we aren't really using anything really specific. But actually, uh, there's one thing that matters that kind of buffs the damage quite a bit is uh, martial exertion gloves, which which past your physical limits take some damage and you can do an extra attack for short rest and, and you get increased movement. So you get into an attack range, you kill one dude, and then you pop this, you get a little bit more movement speed so you can move to the next guy and then smack him too and then do whatever action surge you're you get like 5 attacks, and if you are hasted, you get 7 attacks. For spells, uh, we aren't really using any because Barbarian can't cast when you're in range, so... The only spell I think we really use is... Misty Step. You just get in if you need to. If you're not already at the front, just Misty Step into them. Do whatever. And you get like 3 heals because uh, it was not Lay on Hands, second one off a of Fighter, and Unrelenting Frosty while you're raging. For a Ranger, we use a... Fighter Rogue Ranger Multiclass. We go six levels into Battlemaster. Uh, for maneuvers, I prefer Repost, Menacing Attack, and Goading Attack. Like, you can stop uh, enemies uh, from getting close to you with Menacing Attack, then also goad them. So, let's say uh, Karlak runs up, and you goad them, and now they have disadvantage on attacks against Karlak. Then three levels into Rogue for Assassin on the first, so for like on the first turn of attack and you surprise them, you get you get guaranteed crits. And then multi-class into Ranger uh, Gloomstalker just for Dread Ambusher on the first turn, an, an extra attack, why not? And you can go invisible every short rest. Spells I take from Ranger are just Hunter's Mark and some other utility spells like Enhanced Jump. Long charge just to put the party on the first round. If the enemy is surprised, you get five ranged crit attacks or six melee attacks while hasted. The funny styles I use are defense and archery. 
You can range or you can get in close and like shred people with Hunter's Mark. We do one ASI for just up deck to 18 and then we take a feat, we take Sharpshooter for more range damage. For gear, I uh, use uh, Circle of Hunting, 24 damage extra. Shades Lower Cloak for crit, this is just more armor. You can see the Masters for plus two bonus to attack and damage rolls. This is more armor of the Vaser Shoes. Another Misty Step for Misty Step. Do damage off a Caustic Band. And an extra 1d4 physic damage while concentrating on spell, which is just Hunter's Mark. For the bow, we use the Dead Shot. The number you need to roll a critical hit is reduced by 1. And double proficiency bonus while rolling vet, uh, ranged attacks with this weapon. Melee stuff, we use the uh, Knife of the Undermount King. The uh, Wilder scores a critical when rolling a 19. And they roll two or less, reroll the die, and advantage on attack rolls against slightly or heavily obscured targets. And this is just more damage. Dolor Amaris uh, deal an additional seven damage on a crit. For the face of our party, we are using a Sorcerer Warlock Fighter Multiclass. Two ASIs to up Charisma to 20, and that's about it in terms of that. For our Sorcerer, we take Draconic Sorcery, uh, Lightning Damage, whichever one. It shows... The bronze one, just for some utility on cloud. For sorcery meta magic, we use twinned, quickened, and distant. Twinned, just so I can twin haste on for like two two people. Quickened, so you could spam whatever spell you want with a bonus action if you have a bonus action available. So for say like you have a bunch of people or a bunch of enemies grouped up, toss them to lightning bolts or two fireballs and distant spell if you're out of range or if you need to get somewhere really quickly using messy step for warlock we go two levels for eldritch blast and the second level for repelling blast and agonizing blast and two levels of fighter for action surge and i guess fighting style defense most of my spells off of source for are just utility stuff this, the only spells that are necessary are Misty Step, Haste, Lightning Bolt, Fireball, anything else is a take haste so you can haste two, uh, two party members for ten turns by using Meta Magic Twin Spell. Tech Thoughts because it's a ritual spell, Feather Fall, ritual spell, Sky Self, it's a ritual spell. So if I have any situation that requires any of that stuff, you can. Cantrips, just poison spray to have a poison it's kind of whatever bone chill bone chill is pretty nice uh evenings from healing for one turn rear frost reduce movement speed mage hand is nice minor illusion is op Take Hex and Eldritch Blast. Pretty self explanatory. Uh, Eldritch Blast is damage, cantrip damage. Reliable cantrip damage. For gear, we are using Birthright for plus two charisma. More damage on Eldritch Blast. Look at the Wii just for the plus one bonus to spell save DC and attack rolls, uh, spell attack rolls. The absorb balance is just extra. Potent Robe for Gregarious Caster. Your cantrip steal additional damage equal to your charisma modifier. So that's like another plus six. Spell Might Loves, more damage, 1d8, on top of your Eldritch Blast, minus 5, sort of like Great Weapon Master or Sharp Shooter. And these boots are just extra Dimension Door. Well, Crux Amulet in the case you need to do a spell slot restoration, but this is, this is changeable to anything to be honest. If you wanted to, you could take Psychic Spark as an amulet instead for an extra dart on Magic Missile, but it doesn't really matter. This ring doesn't really matter, it's extra. We do take Risky Ring, this one's important. In advantage on attack rolls, receive disadvantage on saving throws. So for when you use uh, these spell mic gloves, you have advantage on attack, more likely to hit. For melee, we are using the spell sparkler, because of lightning charges are really strong. You gain 5 charges, deal an additional 1 to 8 damage, and since we took lightning Draconic Ancestry, it increases the damage of that as well. And the shield is just for plus one spell save DC and spell attack rolls, and you get a little bit more AC. I don't really use Elf of Powers, but there's probably two I'd recommend. 
Hellish Stakes is really good. Invest in a creature that heals when it attacks, which is just, it's only like 2d8, so to whatever. What's more important is that it's vulnerable to all damage. So you plop this on any enemy and then they're vulnerable to all damage, which creates self-explanatory. Damage boost. The other one I would recommend is probably Mind Sanctuary. Sculpt a magical nexus that allows those within to take actions and bonus actions interchangeably. So just more attacks. Yeah. That's it for the build. Uh, if you have any improvements or questions, just leave them in the comments below. And the rest of this video is just some gameplay to show off the, the party. Other than that, peace. comes easy these days. No time to dally. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Hmm. Might as well take a look.
Sí. Es una... 